Randy, um, we've mocked up a little situation here for you to demonstrate how we're going to probe this. Right here I have a stylus that has two horizontal off to the side. So uh, just like you know, we use this as a main reference. So Z zero is on the bottom of the ball and you use your regular calibration to calibrate the XY shift and the radius of the ball. Alright, you can see that. There's um, some distance between these. The ball size, you'll have to determine what's important for you for your application. All right, so um, what really we've done is, is I've rigged up three, one, two, three blocks, okay? You can see closely, uh, the one on the bottom is the base, it's parallel. All these are parallel. Um, the x-axis needs to be parallel to the top here. Um, I've, I've made it so you can access both sides of the stylus so we can set a Z here and a Z here and then we can also find the middle okay between those two X0 Y0 I set on the top block in the middle so X0 is in the middle of the block and Y0 is in the middle of the block Z0 is on this reference you're going to need to know the precise distance between this surface and this surface that's how we calibrate the center of this All right. I have written a program for you we store the zero position of the block x, y here and z here in offset t 154p20. All right. Okay, Randy. Now what we're going to do is we're going to calibrate the probe um, using that reference I told you about, t 154p20. I'm going to put this in the machine. Yeah. Yeah, I kept that one. Oh, And then I'm going to go over to my control and I'm going to select program 52121. All right. Okay. So, about midway down, there's some numbers you have to put in here. The precise distance uh, between your one, two, two, three blocks, you know, if it's perfect, it'd be one inch. Uh, you know, your tolerance probably is good enough to have one inch. These are approximates. Uh, the approximate distance from the bottom of the stylus to the center or the horizontal um, stylus and the center of the stylus to the edge in the x y in the x y distance straight up from the um, you put those two numbers in okay reset that you've already put in your x zero y zero z zero for uh, g one fifty four p twenty so you can go ahead and run this. So what it'll do is it will do the right side stylus first. Using this as a reference Z, it's going to drop in here and find the center of the ball and give you a shift distance between the bottom of the ball and the center of the stylus. And it stores that into a, a macro variable. All right? Now it's going to do a Y shift. All right? This is something that's going to vary from tool change to tool change. We'll talk about it later. Right. Now this is going to store the Y shift in another variable. All right. Again, this block and this block have to be parallel. Now I go to the other side. Okay. Go down to the other stylus. Do Z first. That's it. Now Randy, that's something you only have to do once. It's a master calibration. When we run the part, we'll, we'll use the calibration block and we'll just do Y before we make a cut. So it'll, it'll take any variation in our Y away from it. All right, Randy, now last thing we're gonna talk about is we have this mock-up part, which is it's kind of similar to what you have. Let me show you real quick, zoom in. Basically it has two pockets on either side of the Part okay, all right. And then what I've done is uh, I use two offsets, one for the right and left. If you go over to the offset page here. The left side offset is G56, um, X0 being the face, 
Y0 being the center of the two pockets, Z0 being the center of the two pockets. Um, G57 is the right side, X0 being the face, and again, Y0 and Z0 being the center. Okay? So if you go to your program list program, we've created a program 52131. I select that, all right? Again, I, I'm, I'm using um, 56 and 57, but I've also still maintained this fixture here. You see this? For adjusting my Y shift on my Pro. So I'm using a G154 P20 for this. So that's what's going to happen first. We're going to make a tool change to the Pro, go over here, calibrate the Y on the Pro, then it's going to go over and measure the part, update the offsets to G56 and G57. So let's watch that work. All right? Right now I'm going to actually skew G56 and G57 by a few thousands. I'm going to make uh, I'm going to make this plus by 20 thousandths and this minus by 10 thousandths and then I'm going to do Y, I'm going to go Y 15 thousandths plus and then I'm shooting X, not Z, excuse me, and then Z uh, 10 thousandths. There we go. So you can watch those numbers change when I run this program. Ready? Right, so I'm going to go back over here and you can see it right. Start. First thing, like I said, we'll do, it'll just get the stylus in Y. Z is not going to move much. We've been running this over and over again. I, I think our repeatability has been around a thousandth or less, about a half thou. So um, it's pretty reliable. I don't, I don't think uh, you need better than that. That's calibrating. Left side stylus. Stores that data in a variable which gets used later to compensate the pockets on either side. All right now it's going to cruise over here. It's going to do the left side of your fixture. Into the pocket, does the Z first, stores that position. Then it does Y. Move over to the pocket. Okay, now we'll update G fifty six. Push feed hold. One other thing it did is when it when it checked the Z, one pocket to the other. There's a, a tolerance in there of 10 thou. You can adjust that, which allows if it's greater than that error, it will alarm out. Now we're gonna move over to the other side and do the exact same thing. This is G57. So that was it generally. It's a simple program. I realize there's going to be some changes in your numbers. Uh, I'll send you both programs and uh, you can call me or, or we can discuss any, any changes you might have. But it gives you a general idea. It should be, should be good to, to start. Okay? Thank you.